How are you going to handle your life as a property manager when you go to your house and realize there is actual human poop on your ceiling? You end up on Section 8 because you have a history of making irresponsible, poor life decisions. When other people are out there planning for the future, Section 8 tenants are animals. Section 8 tenants are savages. Section 8 tenants are heathens, man. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do. And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view. The band is never gonna... So you think you're gonna make it as a Section 8 investor, man. That's cool. You probably heard how great it is, man. The land of milk and honey. That's what they call Section 8, baby. You get that government guaranteed cheddar. It's great. I'm not going to lie. It is great, but it's also horrible at the same damn time, okay? I myself have made millions of dollars, but I ain't going to lie to you, folks. It all ain't sunshine and rainbows, man. Section 8 tenants are animals. Section 8 tenants are savages. Section 8 tenants are heathens, man. We get so many comments. From so many people whining and crying and complaining when I say things like Section 8 tenants are animals, they're heathens, they're savages. They're like, oh my god, that's so unprofessional. How could you say that? Section 8 tenants are just like everybody else. They're just, you know, not... You know, just they don't just have, they're just not as well off as everyone else. Oh, just crap like that. Really? Really? Is that true? If that's so true, why is all the footage that is rolling across your cell phone right now real? Why does it exist? Where did I get this stuff from? Yeah, yeah, I've made millions of dollars investing in Section 8 properties, but I ain't going to tell you it's an easy gig. No, look at all the crap you're looking at on your iPhone, folks. That's the crap you got to deal with. That's the crap you got to clean up. That is what we do. We are knee deep in the crap both literally and figuratively, when we are in the Section 8 space, okay? Nobody ends up on Section 8 just by happenstance. Nobody ends up on Section 8 by accident, okay? You end up on Section 8 because you have a history of making irresponsible, poor life decisions, when other people are out there planning for the future, making responsible choices, your typical Section 8 tenant is not doing that, okay? Think about it. They get their check, they're spending it on freaking lottery tickets, cigarettes, beer, weed, going out, having fun. They're not saving for the future, Pulling out because they're not ready for family planning? Hell no. You don't see a lot of that. That's where you get all this entitled group of people living on food stamps, government cheese, and that Section 8 stuff, okay? And you know what? You know why I'm telling you this? I'm telling you this because it's real, because it's true. That's what you're dealing with. I ain't telling you this to say, oh, my God. We got to kill these people or, oh, my God, you need to run away from it. No, no, no. I love it. I love the business. Like I told you all, the business has made me millions of dollars. But I ain't going to be here, be one of those guys that is lying to you about what investing in Section 8 real estate is like. And I damn sure ain't going to be one of those landlords that's going to be talking on my shows in a politically correct way just to avoid offending some snowflakes. If you can't handle the fact that some seasoned landlord who's thrown out thousands of freaking animals tells you that Section 8 tenants live like heathens, how are you going to handle your life as a property manager when you go to your house and realize there is actual human poop on your ceiling? Because let me tell you, I've dealt with that not once, not twice, not three times. I've dealt with it more times than you could ever imagine. Concrete in your toilets? Oh, yeah. Spray paint all over your house? Definitely. Spending the rent money on a night out on the town? You betcha. That's all stuff that us landlords have to deal with, okay? That's just part of the game. You got to take the good with the bad. 
So if you could take anything from this video, folks, the most important thing you could take is, number one, don't be a whiny victim mentality little bitch. And number two, if you're going to invest in Section 8 properties, you damn sure better be prepared to prepare yourself. You better be prepared to prepare yourself. Let me, let me just say prepared five more freaking times. You better be prepared to go to war because that's absolutely what it is. It's a very difficult, rough, tough business. It is by no means easy. You are going to be in the crap all day, every day. But if you could come out on the other side of it, if you could survive it, if you can be a solid Section 8 investor who can handle all this BS, you can make millions. I've done it, and now my company helps other people just like you do it. So if you are trying to invest in Section 8 properties, I think the best thing you could do is educate yourself, and you could do so by subscribing to Holton Wise TV and finding out just what you're getting yourself into before you spend your hard-earned money on your very first Section 8 rental property. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.